Happy 4th of July, boxing fans. It is Independence Day in the United States. That means we're celebrating the freedom and liberty of all citizens in the USA. In boxing, though, the health and success of the sport can never be independent from the health of boxing in America. Luckily, the American boxing landscape is looking pretty good at the moment, so there's lots to celebrate as you're enjoying barbecue and fireworks today with your fellow fight fans. Of course, it all starts at the top with Floyd Mayweather, the highest paid athlete in the world and still the sport's best pay-per-view draw. Now, that title will only be further cemented on September 14th when he takes on Canelo Alvarez in an event that could rival all sorts of box office and pay-per-view records. His title as best fighter in the world really only has one other contender at the moment, and he happens to be a gold medalist for the USA, Andre Ward. Ward hasn't yet proven to be a lucrative draw himself, but that could change if Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. decides he wants to move up to 168. The heir to the pay-per-view throne in the United States may just be handed to Floyd's little bro, Adrian Broner. You might not have been overly impressed with Broner's performance against Pauli Malignaggi last month, but you have to be impressed with two back-to-back 1.4 and 1.3 million viewer outings on HBO and Showtime, respectively. Those numbers suggest that it won't be long before a pay-per-view offering is economically viable for the problem. With a victory over Manny Pacquiao later this year, Brandon Rios could carry the American flag into future mega action fights as well. Knocking on the pound-for-pound -pound discussion right now is both Danny Garcia and Mikey Garcia, Ring Magazine champs in their given weight classes. In the heavyweight division, things aren't quite as bright, with past hopefuls like Tony Thompson and Chris Ariola already taking devastating losses to the Klitschko brothers. Like it or not, the American with the highest ceiling in the heavyweight division is still Deontay Wilder. No, he's not proven, and no, he hasn't faced anyone of note quite yet, and he'll tell you that himself. But if you had to bet on an American-born heavyweight to win a world title sometime down the road, you'd likely pick Wilder. We know what the rest of the crop will do against a Klitschko, we don't know what Deontay would do, and luckily, one of them will likely retire before Wilder actually takes that kind of leap. As for the hottest prospect coming out of the United States, most boxing experts will agree that it's Errol Spence. The 2012 Olympian has shown nasty knockout power in his early pro fights and is already becoming a bit of a gym legend, with rumors spreading that he KO'd Adrian Broner in sparring. With the backing of Al Heyman, you can expect him to get a Broner-like push in the very near future. For better or worse, the boxing machine still manufactures its stars in the United States. Looking at the fighters atop the sport right now, the U.S. of A. won't have to import too many products for the next little while. There's plenty of talent at the moment to carry that star-spangled banner.